Hello all you beautiful gamers out there, it is I, Totem Lord, and today we have ourselves a brand new Switch Physical Release Reveal. Yes, and uh, on the channel, yet another Play Asia exclusive, only this time it's actually done in English on the cover, which is kind of cool. I uh, still appreciate the, the Dragon Quest one, but it's really nice to see that they actually, um, that they did all this in complete English. Oh, that glare is nasty, but don't worry, we'll get rid of it soon. So yes, um, now, honestly, I probably don't really expect a whole lot from this, because I think like the last one had like a bare nothing on the inside, but I really just kind of wanted to, um, really just show off, just in case if people were wondering. Um, and also, Final Fantasy VII is kind of cl <laughs> has a special place in my heart. Now, I know it does for like lots of other people. Everybody geeks out about Final Fantasy VII, but Final Fantasy VII was something I bought with, with my very first paycheck um, back in, I don't know. It wasn't like right when it first came out, because when I bought it, it was uh, the green label, uh, Greatest Hits. So, um, with my very first paycheck, I bought a PlayStation 1 and Final Fantasy 7 and freaking loved my life. So, to see this come on the Switch is uh, kind of a treat for me. And Final Fantasy 8, of course, I got to. Um, I used to be really huge into RPGs. They were so much fun back in the good old days. Back in the good old days. But anyway, for those of you that came here, you probably didn't listen, come here to listen to me ramble. Or did ya? So, uh, the cover art, I've actually heard some gripes online that it's kind of ugly, kind of. Uh, kind of unoriginal, just because all they did is they just slapped, you know, uh, the two covers right there. And honestly, I really need to fix it. There we go. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. I mean, it's not like I don't think Square Enix did it. <laughs> it was just Play Asia's way of, you know, hey, let's let's get this out there. People want this physically. So I I personally think it's pretty cool. So, but that's just my opinion. The back cover here. Let's have a look. Actually, you know what? Let's do something a little differently. Let's beat this glare. And let's get this plastic out of the way right away. After all, <laughs> what's the point of looking at it if, you know, if it's all blurry and stuff? So, this should help out just a little bit. Okay, so there we go. Kind of like the front, it is split right down the middle. And it's got kind of um, some classic pictures there in the background, which is kind of neat. And I'll read the back here. The Final Fantasy VII side says, Final Fantasy VII, the timeless classic loved by a legion of fans, understatement, comes to the Switch with a number of helpful extra features. Experience the return of an epic adventure beyond imagination, culminating in the final battle to decide uh, to decide the fate of the planet. And the pictures are kind of tiny, but they do actually show off what they are. I feel like the third picture there at the bottom is, uh, you'd only know, oh my god, my camera's terrible, but... <laughs> We have a picture of them on the Midgar subway there at the beginning, a good old fight scene. And the bottom one, I think you'd only know if you play the game because it's from the Golden Saucer, the, uh, the casino that you visit partway through the game. Final Fantasy VIII, let's check out that side. In the mega hit RPG Final Fantasy VIII Returns, this Nintendo Switch version features new graphical enhancements and a whole host of options to customize your gameplay experience. In a world engulfed in war, Squall, a member of an elite mercenary force, leads his group in a fight against the sorceress, the, the sorceress, Adia, to prevent her from fulfilling her nefarious goal. Now, I don't know if the rumors are true or not, but there was some kind of rumor going on that the reason why they released 7 and 9 and 10 without 8 was because they apparently lost the code or something. I don't know how true that is, but it is kind of funny that the 8 appeared a little later. So, uh, I do wish that, that this was... Um, Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9, but you know what, for what it's worth, I'm not really going to gripe. I think it's cool just to have it on a cartridge. Physical collectors. <laughs> Alright, but that's enough rambling. Let's check out the inside. Might be a bare nothing, might be something. Let's check it out. And I'm right, but let's see if we can get a good look at that card. Looks like it is just, yep, Final Fantasy 7 and 8, the logo staff. So, uh... Anyway, it's about what I expected it to. Uh, as a collector, I'm really just happy to, to have it on a card. I think it's really cool to be able to take it on the Switch. Um, <laughs> you know, wherever you go, that is the, the big thing about the Switch is take your games wherever you want and be able to play it on a TV. So, um, anyway, rambling too much here. Just love it. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for checking me out, and I will judge you next time.